Welcome to this video which will explain the interactive ICSR and Automation Technologies tool, also known as the IAT. The IAT is an online, interactive tool which highlights where advanced technologies are being applied in the management of individual case safety reports, otherwise known as ICSRs, in pharmacovigilance. Hi, I'm Ray Kassikert with GSK. I help create Transcelerate's Intelligent Automation Technology Matrix. Joining me is Luisa Barrios from Merck, who is one of the co-authors of Transcelerate's ICSR process paper. One of the common challenges we all face as PV professionals is how to deal with the growing expectations and growing volumes of ICSRs. There is growing awareness across the globe of the important role of pharmacovigilance, and as a result, many countries are implementing new or updating existing PV requirements. The result of these changes is an increase in ICSR case volumes and a need for sophisticated technology to help manage the growing complexity. Before too long, we may reach the scalability limits of current manual methods. Intelligent automation is the combined use of tools and techniques with novel business process improvements which together mimic or exceed human performance. Intelligent automation seeks to remove repetitive or replicable tasks to assist knowledge workers, simplify interfaces, and speed up processes, all while helping improve quality and consistency. Intelligent automation should not be confused with any particular type of technology, like artificial intelligence. Rather, intelligent automation encompasses a continuum of technologies that could be implemented. Our focus in creating the IAT was to help the PV community understand where advanced PV technology can be deployed within PV systems and processes to help achieve greater quality, consistency, and throughput for ICSR processing, and to be able to do so with validated tools that have undergone rigorous testing. To better understand what went into creation of the IAT itself, I'm going to let Luisa tell us about the ICSR process survey we conducted. Thanks, Ray. The interactive ICSR, an automation technologies tool, is the result of survey data from Transcelerate member companies. The ICSR process survey collected information on the benefit, effort, and the risk of automating a process step. The technology matrix describes the types of intelligent automation technology used across different ICSR processes areas and its implementation maturity. As a result, we can see the general ICSR process map with a combined view of benefit, effort, risk, type of technology, and implementation level that can guide companies through their assessment of intelligent automation opportunities. Out of the different safety processes, case management is currently the most labor-intensive process due to the high volume of ICSRs and the ever-increasing volume trend. ICSRs require many people completing different tasks manually. The manual data entry does not only bring staffing challenges to PV organizations, but also quality challenges driven by the length and complexity of the data. Because of these challenges, the Intelligent Automation team decided to start assessing the ICSR process first. In order to assess the process, current automation landscape and future opportunities, a generic process map that would generally apply to all companies was developed by contributors from different Transcelerate member companies. This process map details the main steps that are required for ICSRs. Beginning with case intake, moving to case processing, and ending with case reporting, this process map will walk you through the case management steps that could potentially benefit from automation. The ICSR process paper, available on Transcelerate's website, contains results from a 2018 survey conducted among Transcelerate member companies to understand automation opportunities. There is a link to this paper on our solutions page. A heat map of the survey data was constructed to assess the benefit, effort, and risk of automation for each process step. Effort was defined as the estimate of time and resource level needed to complete a process step at the time of the survey. Benefit was defined as the estimate of how much a process step would benefit from automation in terms of quality, compliance, and efficiency. Risk was defined as the estimate of the possibility of failure, burden of validation, and criticality of automating a process step. Under the responses image, we can see the choices people had when selecting their survey response for each parameter. This heat map helps to understand companies' perception on the different aspects to consider when evaluating process steps that could benefit from automation. Darker areas correspond to a higher aggregated survey response value. 
For example, areas of darker red indicate step is high risk. Ray will talk us through the other key input to the IAT, the technology matrix. Thank you, Luisa. Our technology matrix builds on our foundation in ICSR process work. We surveyed Transcelerate member companies to conceptualize the matrix as a grid that maps the actual implementation of specific intelligent automation technologies to specific steps in the generalized ICSR process. By doing this, Transcelerate has outlined an accurate picture of where companies have been investing in ICSR automation. We categorize types of intelligent automation into rule-based, cognitive, orchestration, and text language categories. We ask member companies to identify where in the ICSR process they've implemented intelligent automation technologies with possible responses of no activity, planning, some activity, piloting specific technology, or having completed production deployment of intelligent automation. Here you can see what the technology matrix looks like. It incorporates the example ICSR process flow and specific ICSR process steps and adds specific information across the categories of intelligent automation technologies to show where companies are in the process of or have actually deployed to production advanced automation in the generalized ICSR process. The matrix itself is also available for download on the Transcelerate website. Now let's go and check out the IAT itself. Starting at the IAT launch page, you will see we have broken down the ICSR process into three high-level process phases, case intake, case processing, and case reporting. You may click any one of these phases to get started. For this demo, we will start with the case processing phase because this phase has the most steps and may be the most resource-intensive area for any given organization. In any of the process phases, you will see the filter by feature above the process map. This feature allows us to identify process steps that match certain parameters. For example, by setting the benefit, risk, and effort filters to high, we can see ICSR steps fitting this opportunity profile. Those steps include case translation, full data entry, medical assessment, and so on. We can clear these filters by clicking the X's until the full case processing map with all steps returns to view. You do not have to use the filters to click on a step, but it may be a useful way to focus on potential areas of opportunity. Now we're going to go through three examples to help understand what you are viewing. Luisa will get us started. For our first example, we are interested in looking at a case processing step that has a high expected benefit from automation and currently requires a high level of effort to execute. By using the filters, we identify full data entry as a step fitting that opportunity profile. We can click on that step to get more information. To the left, we see the opportunity profile for this step based on our 2018 survey. To the right is the step description for our corresponding ICSR paper. The heat map from that paper indicated that approximately 40% of our member companies were already applying automation to this step in some way. In contrast, the data from our 2020 technology survey, shown here, estimates that 65% of our member companies are now applying some level of automation. Technologies in production include robotic process automation, lookups, machine learning, workflow, optical character recognition, semantic search, and our natural language processing. We saw similar technologies being piloted and planned for this step, while additional technologies such as chatbots, natural language generation, and translation were also being planned. Detailed descriptions of these technologies are available within our 2020 technology matrix. It is important to know that a company may have different technologies in production at the same time for the same process step. This can also be the case for piloting and planning. Therefore, the step percentages may not total to the overall percentage of respondents applying at least some level of automation. It is also important to know that 35% of our member companies reported no automation of this ICSR process step. Clicking on the graphs tab will display an image of the opportunity profile. Here, you can see each ring of the circle graph is filled with a color because full data entry was rated as high across each parameter. To return to the process map view, just click the X. 
As we might expect, not all process steps are associated with high levels of automation. And some process steps may have only recent examples of automation implementation. Concerning inline QC, our 2018 survey indicated that no member companies were automating this step. However, our 2020 survey suggested that 55% of companies are now applying at least some level of automation to this process step. For our last example, Ray will guide us through coding. Exploring a bit deeper within the IAT, we can see that per our 2020 survey, the coding processes step was highly automated with 75% of responding companies. This data point is largely unchanged from the 2018 result. Nonetheless, coding represents an area where many companies have implemented intelligent automation technologies into production. These technologies include RPA, or robotic process automation, lookups, machine learning, workflow, optical character recognition, or OCR, semantic search, and or natural language processing, also known as NLP. Most of these same technologies are also being piloted and or planned. As you continue to familiarize yourself with the updated IAT, we hope this data can serve as a useful benchmark for your organization. By looking across your own organization's ICSR process and comparing that to the intelligent automations described here, additional opportunities might be identified. That is, our process map, filters, and survey results may help you assess technologies for the various process steps, whether you have or have not started automating your ICSR process. We believe that intelligent automation can be facilitated by understanding technological foundations and their applicability to PB systems. Evaluating opportunity for using intelligent automation in the ICSR process and benchmarking intelligent automation technologies for specific ICSR process steps. When using combination with other solutions, the IAT can help you build a business case for automating the ICSR process. If your organization is already on board with automation, these solutions could help you prioritize where to go next. As with many transformational changes, it is important to educate key stakeholders on what intelligent automation can do for PV. We believe that our IA tool and other available solutions can help PV experts educate and inform other important stakeholders. We are actively developing resources related to testing and validating intelligent automation technologies. Please revisit our website periodically to see our latest solutions and updates. If you have any questions about our initiative and solutions, feel free to reach out by emailing info at transcelleratebiopharmainc.com. Any updates or new solutions can always be found on our Intelligent Automation Opportunities in PV Solutions page on the Transcelerate website. Lastly, if you use our IAT or other solutions, we will love to hear about your experience. You can let us know by visiting our contact page at transcelleratebiopharmainc.com slash engage with us. Thank you so much for watching this demo and good luck with your intelligent automation pursuits in drug safety.